2018 and we are finishing 2018 and the Guatemalans are in our national river, our sovereign territory. You got to wake up and understand where they happen to eat. Listen, the point I want to make to you that there is not a word from the two gangs that are in this country. The government and the opposition are paid by taxpayers. That should never be allowed to continue the way it's continue. They have a duty to us to take that matter to the United Nations and wherever else and tell Guatemala, get out of the river, otherwise we are going to have some problems down here. I dare any super patriot to present me with facts that prove that the court will give Guatemala a slice of Belize and I undertake to conclusively destroy that unfounded argument. That is a challenge. You talk about unfounded claim? Give me the time and give me your unfounded arguments, Mr. No, and I will tear them all to bits. When you hear such things from such super patriots, the ones who have already convinced most of you, I hear you clapping to vote no, you must be very depressed. But it may be more serious than that. Why are they so determined to give credence to what Guatemalans say? Why, did, why do they distort facts that clearly help believe this case and say that those facts favor Guatemala? I don't come here to tell nobody to vote no. I come here to say this to you. There is a lot of information that you do not know about this issue. That is my point to you. So let me, let me throw this out. In parliamentary democracy, if a government says to its people that this is the way we are to go, we support going this way, and we will ask you to vote and support going this way, and the people of that country says, we're going this way, the government has to resign. That's just the way it is. But guess what? The leaders of the opposition have to resign too. Because they are complicit. He's just so determined to make people vote no that he becomes careless as to whether he's serving Guatemala's interests or not. Such an attitude is dangerous. Because regardless of your intentions, the consequences of your words and actions could be disastrous for our people. And there are consequences. There are always consequences. Could we assume that the reason why Guatemala has agreed to go to the ICJ is because of the wording of the question that is being asked in the referendum next year? Guatemala has not said what it is claiming. But as Mr. Bradley pointed out, it's impossible for it to go to a court, especially when it has recognized the state of Belize and claimed the entire country because every state has to have sub-territory. Are you still willing to go on the SAR spoon with Will Meher? Bring him to me and let, and let him take me there, of course. Why not? Okay. I noticed I got on the SAR spoon several times. Ms. Schumann, Ms. Schumann was there on the trip. The key was on the trip. Congratulations. All right. I'm afraid to go. Don't be. Um, if I could go to Keacock, I don't see no reason why I can't go to the You can't go. Trip. You can go. All right. Why, go. Is, why is there so much Guatemalan fishermen in the Sarstone with Belizean fishing license? When you have people right in Fiji that can't get fishing license. Does it, does, it, does, it, does it look to you as if it involves some sort of corruption? Yes, Thank very you. much so.